People went out and bought, uh, when they knew this was coming, they, they bought like boxes and boxes of these glasses mm -hmm. um, just so that they would be sold out <laughs> here in town so they could resell them for like a hundred times. Like you could buy them for, yes. what, a dollar a pair? And they're selling them for like $50 a pair. I'm like, oh my gosh, just because there's so many people coming here unprepared. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Most people think this is a Christian phenomenon or it comes from Christian sources. But as it turns out, while this does appear in the, in the Olivet Discourse. Explain that. So you have in the Synoptic Gospels a description of Jesus' second coming when the Son of Man will come in his full power and glory. And it describes there these um, celestial phenomena that will occur. And you would find it in the synoptic, so it would be Matthew 24, Mark 13, L Luke um, 21. So there's something very strange. This is really very intriguing. So I, I know what people are expecting me to say is that if there are so many Christians in North America, for example, who are within, are able to observe this celestial phenomenon, there'll probably be many people converting to Judaism on Tuesday. I say this to all the rabbis all over the United States, said, prepare, get the mikvah ready, because there'll be hundreds of millions, there'll be like, like an 1844 great disappointment experience. I, that's what I think people believe I would say. These are not the only sources for that. You have kind of similar passages, not the same. You have different stuff in Second Peter three. So people think that this is like a big, you know, Christians are going to get it in their face. But as it turns out, there is a prophecy, an explicit prophecy in Joel chapter three, verse three. We we're told that, in fact, the sun, moon, there will be signs of the light going out, the moon turning to red, blood, and so on. We actually find that in Joel. If you're looking for it in a Christian Bible, it'll show up as Joel chapter 2, verse 30. In a Jewish Bible, it'll show up as chapter 3, verse 3. The Jewish and Christian Bible divide these chapters separately or differently. And as it turns out, from Joel chapter 3, there are three chapters of Joel in a Christian Bible. It's the same book, but there are four chapters because they're cut up differently in a Hebrew Bible. So this segment of Joel is talking about the Achra Sayyamim, is describing the end of days, and describing these phenomena. There'll be signs and wonders in the sky and on earth, blood, fire, and a calm of smoke, and the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon into blood before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. What is very strange is that in Matthew 24, for example, the statement is given, as you'll find in other places, that this generation, I mean the generation to whom Jesus was speaking to, I mean the first century Christians, will not pass away until this all occurs. And of course, that generation did pass away, and of course, none of this None of that occurred. There is a source for it in the Hebrew Bible, a very strong source for it. The Jewish commentators are are divided over whether this should be taken literally or not. Because we find the sun and the moon as signs for Israel's victory is very critical. Famously, Jeremiah 31, the very chapter that Hebrews misconstrues to apply to a new covenant, and it's really talking about the promise that the children of Israel return back to the land and will be there permanently. And so says the Lord who created the sun to illuminate the day, the moon and the stars and night. If the very foundation of the earth could be measured, so will I cast off the seed of Israel. So the nation of Israel's permanence is connected to the celestial bodies and the celestial phenomena and therefore, Joel very much could be using those kind of terms, or literally. But again, as I said, what's strange is that the Christian Bible, in, these, in the exact same context, says that, in fact, that generation would observe it. That generation would say, of course, that did not happen. If you enjoy this program, 
please like and subscribe. Adon Olah, Asher Malach, V'terem Kol, Yetzir Nivra, V'et Nasa, V'chev Tzokol, Azai Melech, Azai Melech, Shemu Nikra, V'achare, Thank you.